Welcome back to Face the State on this Sunday morning. For the first time in Connecticut history, voters elected an Asian American to a statewide office. He is William Tong, the Attorney General elect, and we welcome you to the program. Hey, Dennis, great to see you. Representative Tong, your state representative, representative for at least a couple more weeks, 52 for, more days yeah, thereabouts. Yeah, for, it's, it's weird. It's been 12 years now. And um, someone asked me in the Capitol today for my laptop. And I was like, <laughs> you want my laptop already? I'm not ready yet. Do you see yourself as this pioneer, this history maker? No, I mean, I'm just grateful that um, this state has given me and my family so much. I speak often about my mom's first night in this country. It was at um, 600 Asylum Avenue, that brick apartment building that overlooks the 84 interchange and that we were able to get from here from, from there to here um, is just a, you know, incredible statement about our state and the opportunities that we all enjoy here in Connecticut. When you were a child, did you think that an Asian American could be elected to such a high position? I think I thought anything was possible growing up here in Connecticut. And I never doubted that was true. And, you know, I've been on your show a bunch of times. Yes, you have And I've been on my back a couple times. And it hasn't always worked out for me. But, but I knew that if I kept at it and persevered that, you know, like my parents, that, that I'd get there. And, and I'm honored that the people of the state have put their trust in me as their next attorney general. So viewers are asking me, what kind of attorney general will he be? Will he be more like Richard Blumenthal, or will he be more like George Jepson? So, because George Jep, you know, did not file as many lawsuits yeah. as Mr. Blumenthal did. Well, I think each, uh, both um, Attorney General Jepson and Attorney General Blumenthal were appropriate for their time and, and the moment in which they served. And I gave the diplomatic answer during the campaign, which was I'd be a little bit of both. But as we get closer to swearing in day, the answer is, you know, I'm also neither. Um, I'll be much the same way I've been in the legislature, aggressive in fighting for Connecticut families on our state's gun laws, protecting families at the height of the foreclosure crisis, um, we did a, a law working with um, broadcasters here in the state around frivolous lawsuits. So I'll continue to be aggressive. We talked about that law here mm -hmm. um, a we couple of years ago. You know, civil rights have been a huge priority for me. I'll continue to focus on that. So I'll continue to be aggressive. You know, after the debate we had here, a viewer asked me, they thought that um, Chef versus Anil was sort of over. And it's still going on no, in the court system today. On. And this is going to be something you're going to have to deal with. Yeah. Tell us about this. Update us, you know, and what you're going to be doing with so this. So it's, it's about implementation. And, and we keep going back to court in, in Chef. And then relatedly, we just had the, the CJEF case, um, the Justice and Education Funding case, which talks about um, equity and education funding around um, uh, the, the six, 169 municipalities we have in this state and making sure that every city and town has an appropriate amount of funding related to that. Uh, Chef is also about equity um, and um, racial, ethnic, and um, you know, and diversity here in this state and making sure that everybody has a fair opportunity um, at a great education here in Connecticut. So I, I think my role as Attorney General is going to try to, uh, is going to be to try to bring the parties together and, and to help the legislature and our um, cities and towns come up with an education funding system um, and an education system generally that really promotes equity uh, and, and provides the same quality, high quality of education for students across the state. Another question that I had asked about um, budget cutting during the debate was that if Governor Lamont or Governor Stefanowski, was, you know, this, the, yep. that was the question, came to you and said, we need to cut money in the Attorney General's budget, and you said you couldn't do it. Is that still your position? Well, I think we do a lot for the state. Um, as the lawyer for the state, uh, not only do we represent all of the different agencies and departments and officers, but we also bring in a lot of money for the state. And so what you want to make sure of is that you don't hamper the attorney general's office's ability to go out and um, take on big tobacco, as we did under Attorney General Blumenthal, take on the generic drug manufacturers um, and the opioid crisis as Attorney General Jepson has done, and those may result in large settlements that inure to the benefit of Connecticut taxpayers. And if we're, frankly, making more money than we cost, and, and we make a lot more money for the state than we cost, then we ought not hamper the Attorney General's office's job to do, uh, or opportunity to do that. In terms of uh, what else you'd like to do, what's on the agenda, the Tong agenda for the AG's so office? So right away, we've got to get into the legislature and pass a statute creating a civil rights division. Um, here in Connecticut. They have that in Massachusetts, 
And in New York, I think so many people feel like our civil rights are under attack or are in doubt. And so um, the attorney general currently does not have the affirmative authority to take action, legal action, on behalf of Connecticut citizens whose civil rights have been infringed. And so um, I want to ask the legislature and Governor Lamont for that authority, and, and I feel good about um, them agreeing to do so. So that's, you know, job one. Also, I um, told many of the families that are suffering from the Crumbling Foundations crisis in eastern Connecticut that I would sit with them the very first week, and we're going to do that. Attorney General-elect William Tong, we welcome you to the program again after you're Thank sworn you. in. Thank you. Congratulations. When we come back, we will talk with two Republicans about what can be done to turn the party around after their huge election losses on election night. And we welcome your comments right now. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter.